Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Here is today's project. It is this absolutely adorable little adhesive caddy that you can set on your desk so you've got all your adhesive ready while you are crafting. It holds your Tombow upside down, which is awesome. So all your glue is ready to go. You've got glue dots, you've got snail tear and tape dimensionals, and it is so simple and easy to create. Now this is a direct case from Pinterest. I'll try and track down who it came from, but this is not my idea. Thank goodness for those crafty people out there though. <clears throat> so let me show you how to create that. We are gonna use one stamp, our Crafting Forever stamp set. And this is great because it's got the best sentiment ever. We're gonna use this one, Crafting Forever, Housework, whenever. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do a lot of scoring here. And um, I'm not gonna show you how to do every single piece because you guys can do that on your own. And also I'm going to give this one away. So I want it to be flat so I can send it to uh, the winner and then they can put it together themselves. So we do need a scoring tool and we're going to have this piece is eight and a quarter by six and a half. So I've got my eight and a quarter um, piece at the top and I'm gonna score at four, four and a quarter and five and a quarter. I'm gonna do a quarter turn and I'm gonna score at one and five and a half. And then I've got a couple more pieces. Now I did go ahead and put my scores in already on these, but I'm gonna just tell you, this is six by five. I have my six inch side at the top and I'm gonna score at three and four. I'm gonna do a quarter turn and I'm gonna score at one and four. Then my final piece is going to be six by three and a half. I've got my six inch side at the top, score that at three and four, a quarter turn, and I'm gonna do one and three and a quarter. So let me get this out of here and show you how to create these boxes. So let's go ahead and do the big box. I wanna make sure that I'm going, I've got my bone folder and I'm gonna make my score lines nice and crisp. That just makes things go together so much better when you burnish those score lines. Okay, so you would do this on all three panels. And then when you look, you've got these two little squares here. And what we're gonna do is just cut straight up to that first, that first score line you just put in and create those little flaps. And that is what is going to allow this box to go together. Okay, so you can kind of see these little guys are just gonna tab in here, maybe stuck and then it's going to come in this way and there you go that's how you're going to create your little box so what you'll do is this is the inside and i'm just going to put a couple strips of tear and tape here now i used snail on the flaps because they're stuck on the inside they're not really what's key to holding this box together so I like my tear and tape for that. You could use fast fuse. Um, the Tombow green glue would work, but really the snail, it just, we need a little bit more uh, adhesive to hold this box together because there's some tension on it. And um, you want a heavier duty adhesive. Okay, now like I said, I'm not gonna put them all together because I do wanna mail this to my winner. <clears throat> so what I would do is I would do a little bit of snail adhesive on here, fold that one in, and then you'll, you'll pull your tear and tape off and fold that one together. So now you've got the back box. So my final step in finishing the box is just to take my snips and I'm just gonna go corner to corner and just kind of bevel that edge a little bit, and I'm gonna do that on both sides, okay? So I'm gonna do that with all of the boxes, and then I've got my DSP, so I'll put the dimensions on my, oops, I lost some pieces. Okay, anyway, I'll put the dimensional, the, or put the dimensions on as well, because you can see how they're gonna just go on to the front 
and the side panels of the box, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you. This is a real quick video because my battery is actually dying. And uh, I have also got my daughter home. My son graduated on Friday night from high school, so my daughter's home. And we're gonna go see a movie today. So I wanted to do this quick video for you so you have a movie to watch. And she and I are gonna go catch a movie real quick before she has to go back to Pittsburgh. So um, actually, let me go ahead and show, oh, there's my other pieces. They were hiding under my ink pad. So I will show you, I'll give you those dimensions, but we're gonna use the blueberry bushel. Go ahead and stamp my sentiment on here. And then I'm going to punch that out with my one and three quarter circle punch. And there you go, that's going to get put on to the front with my dimensionals. And then the whole box is going to get put together. So this box and this box will be put together first, and then you'll attach these two to the back of your big one, okay? So I know I'm kind of, I'm totally like skipping out on this, but I think you guys can figure it out. And uh, like I said, I wanna give this one away. So uh, leave me a comment uh, on my Facebook page or on my YouTube or on my blog, wherever you're seeing this, and I'm gonna pick a winner, then I'm gonna send you the parts and you'll go ahead and assemble it at home. So you guys have a wonderful week and I will catch you back here next week for Movie Monday.